Let us go to the book of Psalm. Book of Psalm chapter 1. Book of one, Psalm chapter 1. We are going to read from verse 1 to 2. The book of Psalm chapter 1. Verse 1 to 2. It says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, on his law he meditates day and night. I read again. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seats of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Yes, this is the person who is blessed by the Lord. The one who separates himself and herself from the counsel of the wicked, from the way of sinners, and from the seats of scoffers. You have to take intentional action as a Christian to maintain your relationship with God. Our message today will be identify the value of people around you. Yes, identify the value of people around you. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. The people around you, do they make up, does, does their value make up the counsel of the wicked or makes up the counsel of the righteous? The people around you, the people with whom you pass your time with, you spend your day with, you talk with your friends, your best friend, does their value make up the way of righteousness or the way of sin? The people around you, what is their value in your life? Are they helping you to grow in Christ Jesus? Are they helping you to maintain your relationship with God? Are they helping you to dwell according to what the Lord has commanded us through his word? Identify the value of people around you. In this world, you will come face to face with four categories of people. The first category are those who are going to add to your life. The second category are those who are going to subtract from your life. The third category are those who are going to multiply to your life. And the fourth category, those who are going to divide from your life. You have to identify the value of each person that you allow in your life. Are they adding to your life? When I say add, adding is a positive. So are they bringing something of positive to your life? Are they helping you to grow in your spiritual work with the Lord? Are you struggling in your faith as a Christian? Are you struggling to walk in righteousness? Look at the people around you. You might find the reason why you may be struggling in your Christian work with the Lord. Are you struggling to meditate on the word of the Lord? Look at the people around you and the kind of conversation you engage yourself with. Because what we converse with ourselves, sooner or later, we find ourselves meditating it. This is why it is so easier to learn a song than to learn an academic research book because the song the way it is being sung 
it goes into your mind and then you begin to to sing it sing it as you are singing the song in your in your mind you are meditating on those words and then those song the words they begin to go into your subconscious before you know it you begin to act according to the lyrics of that song you begin to behave according to the lyrics of that song so also if the conversation that you are having on a regular basis with your friends are negative before you know it whether you like it or not you will begin to think in a negative way whatsoever is planted in your mind you are going to reap in action what are you conversating with your friends on a daily basis the bible makes us understand that we should be beware of the counsel of the wicked of the unrighteous of the ungodly true we are a light to the world we are sent to transform the world but we are not part of the world when you find yourself with those who are not in the world you are not to conform to their lifestyle you are to bring change light where there's darkness the bible makes us makes us understand when you find a person in the wrong you correct them once they refuse to change it says you bring a group of people to correct the person if they refuse to change you take them to the congregation you correct the person and if the person refuses to change then you expel them out of the church why because it takes our genuine willingness plus god's power to bring about the change that we deserve it is not man that changes another man it is the holy spirit that brings us into conviction i can preach i can teach the scriptures as much as i want unless the holy spirit is involved in the work of conviction i will only give you a beautiful speech that is why your heart must be ready must be opened must be able to listen to the voice of the holy ghost so that you will be brought into conviction are the people in your life are they multiplying to your life those who are multiplying to your life are those you need to hold on dearly those who are bringing god's faithfulness to your life bringing the fruit of god into your life those who are praying for you teaching you the word of god helping you to walk in the path of righteousness and there are those when they enter into your life when you look back you say what happened to me i used to be here in my spiritual work with the lord but now i find myself struggling to pray i find myself struggling to study the word i find myself even to just meditate on one verse i find myself struggling beware of such people beware of such people Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the wicked, that nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. You need to identify the value of people around you and what they are bringing into your life. If they are not bringing anything good, no matter how sweet they may be, you have to let them go. Because what is important to man, to us, is not our fleshly relationship, but our spiritual relationship with God. Yes, man's relationship is two-way, vertical and horizontal. Vertical relationship with God, horizontal relationship with others. Bible says, beware of your relationship with others. If your horizontal relationship comprises of people who only subtract, who only divide from your life, 
no matter how beautiful they may be, no matter how lovely they may be, no matter how kind-hearted they may be, as long as they are not adding, bringing positive value, as long as they are not multiplying, bringing positive value to your life, making you to draw closer to God, you are to let them go. As bitter as it may be, you are to let them go. So identify the value of people in your life. May God bless his word in the midst of your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.